Hi there. I welcome you to today's video lesson. In our previous video lesson, we learned about the discovery of the electrons, which is one of the subatomic particles by Joseph John Thompson. And we made mention of the fact that he was able to discover the existence of the electrons in the atom by making use of the cathode ray tube experiment. In today's video lesson, we will be talking about how another scientist by the name Ernest Rutherford also used the alpha scattering experiment in the discovery of one of the subatomic particles. That is the main objective for today's lesson. Ernest Rutherford. He was born in 1871 and he died in 1937. So this is a picture of Ernest Rutherford. All right, let's proceed. Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. Rutherford alpha scattering experiment. Now let's talk about the procedure that Rutherford used that enabled him in his discovery of this subatomic particle that we are going to talk about today. Rutherford bombarded a thin sheet of gold or a gold foil with a beam of an alpha particle from a radioactive material. The alpha particles were emitted from a radioactive source or element placed within a lead shield or block. In other words, the lead shield or the block was acting as a shield. The lead sh block was acting as, as a shield for the radioactive material. The alpha particles move straight through a slit into the screen. He then monitored the movement of the scattering alpha particles with the help of a rotatable microscope. So this is the procedure that he used. Observation of his experiment. So at the end this was what he observed during the experiment. He observed that most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil undeflected. In other words, a lot of the alpha particles that were emitted from the radioactive source or the material was able to pass through the gold foil without deflection. And we can see that from this diagram. So whatever that we are seeing here are a beam of alpha particle beam of alpha particles, these red lines. So we can see that this was able to pass through without deflection. This also passed through without deflection. This also passed through without deflection. This also passed through, that also and that. All these were able to pass through the gold foil. This is the gold foil without deflection. Any round circle that you are seeing here represents an atom of gold within the gold foil. All right. Second, you observe that few alpha particles pass through the gold foil but deflected. So we can see this one was able to pass through but deflected. It wasn't straight like the undeflected ones. This one also was able to pass through but also deflected. All right. Lastly, he observed that very few alpha particles reflected or bounced back. In other words, they were not able to pass through. The gold foil and we can see this one here reflecting or bouncing back so it bounces back okay let's move on so this is another diagram to simplify his observation to us so we have the lead block here then we have the radioactive source that's the material here 
as I said earlier, the block is acting like as a shield for the radioactive material. Then we have the beam of alpha particle here. Then this is the gold sheet or the gold foil. This yellowish sheet here. Alright. Then we have the fluorescent screen. This blue round object is a fluorescent screen. Then we have this deep one indicating most of the alpha particles, beam of alpha particles, we're able to pass through the gold foil undeflected. Then we have the scattered or the deflected ones, this one and this thin one and this thin one. Then we have the reflected one, the reflected one. In other words, those ones couldn't pass through the gold foil. So this is another diagram to aid you. We have the atom of gold here. This is the nucleus. We're having some of the alpha particle. These are alpha particle. Take note that alpha particle is also known as the helium um, atom. Very good. So you see most of them passing through, passing through, passing through. Then few deflecting here. And then very few reflecting or bouncing back. So this is a summary of the observation of Ernest Rutherford. Okay. Now, after his observation, he concluded that most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil undeflected before because they pass through an empty space which do not have any repulsive force on the alpha particle. In other words, what he was trying to say is that the reason why most of the alpha particles were able to pass through the gold foil without deflection is because they pass through an empty space here. Empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space. Empty space. Very good. We come here, empty space, another empty space, another empty space. Very good. So that, was, that is what he was trying to say, that most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil undeflected because they pass through an, an, an anti-space which do not have any repulsive force on the alpha particles. Secondly, few alpha particles pass through the gold foil but deflected because they came near a heavy mass at the center which has a slight repulsive force on the alpha particles. So. We can see that also from here, heavy mass strike it here and it was able to repel it, heavy mass also here and it was able to repel or it was able to deflect it. You can see the same thing also here and there. Alright, so few other particles pass through the good foil but deflected because they came near heavy mass at the center which has a slight repulsive force on the alpha particles. Thirdly, which is the last point, is that very few alpha particles reflected or bounce back because they move straight to strike a heavy mass at the center, which has a strong repulsive force on the alpha particle. So you can see that here, this beam of alpha particle moves straight to strike the center of the atom which is the nucleus which have a very strong repulsive force as a matter of fact almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus very good so you strike the nucleus and as a result it's it's it went back or it's reflected or bounced back all right so that is the conclusion of NS Rutherford Alpha Scattering Experiment. Now, Rutherford model of the atom. So, at the end, he made mention that the atom has a central core called the nucleus. In other words, Rutherford is the one who discovered the nucleus within which we can find the proton, which is the main subatomic particle that uh, he discovered through the alpha scattering experiment. 
Secondly, he said that in the nucleus, there are positively charged particles called proton. Very good. So he named these positively charged particles within the nucleus as protons. And he proceeded to say that the nucleus occupies small volume of the atom. And he said the electrons, which are negatively charged, occupy a large empty space in the atom. He, said, he also said that the number of electrons are equal to the number of protons to make the atom a neutral entity. In other words, in a neutral entity, the number of protons are equal to the number of the negative electrons, which Joseph John Thompson discovered. And lastly, he said that almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus. So that is his model. So we have a diagram here which is the Rutherford nuclear model and we have the nucleus containing the protons and then we have an empty space around the nucleus within which we can find the electrons so this is what and as Rutherford said about the atom so this is the end of the lesson that is the reader for the first cartoon experiment which leads to the discovery of the nucleus and one of the subatomic particles known as protons which is a positively charged particle don't forget to subscribe like and share and lastly below this video lesson there is a link there one is to my facebook page where you can encounter or you have an encounter with other chemistry minded people so i would like you to click on the link and follow the page follow me there on facebook like the page and also there is another link for uh, my whatsapp platform you can click on that link and it will direct you to me personally where you can chat with me on whatsapp you can send any question any problem any challenge bothering you in chemistry and we will respond to you and aid you in solving that challenge stay blessed